So hey guys, I'm Momujin and welcome to another video of Spot of Feet with Trash. This time around I want to talk a bit more about a cooldown reduction build that I've been following and that is Impact CDR Beast. If you are really interested, go ahead and check the description. I'll be including the link to this video about the build in the description below. So anyway, what this build basically allows you to do is reach 40% 40% cooldown reduction ASAP as soon as possible and what that allows you is if you max your hook first okay, as you all know um, Trash even though with his ton of utility his hook and his flay right he is for some reason given tons of cooldown uh, because from Riot for some reason even Bootscrank doesn't have that option doesn't have that privilege okay? but not to worry this build is is can be used for both Bootscrank and Trash so what I've been enjoying about with this build is that I max my Q first because I have enough, so to speak, faith in my ability to hook. Because at the end of the day, if you manage to hit your land your Q, Trash's hook, and with max CDR, you basically get to hook every 3.2 seconds. That is a lot. That's a, that's that's amazing. That's basically every 1.5 seconds of CC you get 3.2 seconds. You can do it another time. 3.2 seconds. Here Zed decides to gank and I'm like, I'm sorry, bailing out, okay? So, Draven here is mad and he wants for he wants to go in to avenge himself. Unfortunately here, I miss my hope, okay? And Brom decides to counter-attack. Counter I prop my ult down to slow the enemy's advancement. I meant to slay Bane, but unfortunately she didn't hit my ultimate. So here Draven and Bane are in a duel, and I just barely managed to hope. Had I hoped Brom... Um, I wouldn't say that Draven may have not won that duel. So here I continue my chase because I knew there was a pink ward here and I like, Hey, stupid pink ward. And if you guys watched the previous video, the one minute video, you know that this, uh, this particular scene here of Trash Lucky Hook, Trash's Lucky Hook, um, comes from this game. So as you can see, I managed to <laughs> land a hook on Zed, uh, Despite the fact that I thought I completely missed, I was like, what the shit, what kind of fuck was that? And then, yeah, we just got to chase for some very reason. No kill though. Here, Draven decides to bait the enemy, okay? Because Skarner is actually, uh, as you can see, camping in a brush. And I go back a bit so to and to make the bait more enticing, so to speak. I put in my lantern, thinking a Draven can be pulled out. Unfortunately, here, once again, I missed my hook, but I managed to play her back in. Problem is, I didn't activate my ult lot fast enough to slow her down, okay? So Skarnet and I are persistent, we continue to chase Vayne down and we ping Nidalee from mid to tell her that there's some free food in the river. Unfortunately, she comes down late, but she saw that Braum was low and she actually go went in for it. She went through a spear and managed to catch Braum off, so kudos to her. The entire fight wasn't in vain. Here, Pantheon and Zed managed to kill Skarner off, but I make sure I, sh I held Zed first, so my enemy team managed to kill him off. I believe I, yeah, I KS there once again. Although Draven could have, I could have given Draven the kill right there. In this game, I actually KS quite a bit, so it's like, what the flip am I doing once again as a support? Here, Lee Sin managed to kill, kill off uh, Pantheon, and I just used my lens to bail his ass out. Here I saw that Zed was an opportunity to kill, I propped down every single thing but I saw that my team was not falling up so I propped down my <laughs> ascension, Tasma ascension and just ran back out as soon as possible. So that was me throwing all my skills, especially my ult and um, nothing was fruitful from that engage at all. <coughs> at least I didn't feel a kill. So as you can see here the highlight still goes on because we continue to dwell in their jungle and we, we were thinking that we could have sort of bait them in a fight. I missed my hook of Pantheon, sadly. Draven continues to go in as you can see here. He goes into the left, to the brush. And we were thinking we can still catch them off. So I for one follow up with my my ADC here. Lee Sin goes in as well. Problem was I became too greedy for my teammates consideration and I decided to hook that. Instead I get kicked off and Pantheon assassinates me off. Okay. So here comes my three teammates here, Pantheon is trying to run away from my teammates. He, fortunately, gets uh, his ass kicked. Oh, and they did it for my sake. 
Assuming it is on my team. Even that kills off Pantheon and least he kills off Zed. With that sweet typical combo of his. So right here right now we have another team fight. Uh, that breaks out. Skarner manages to initiate Flash and Ultimate. I took out my Ultimate as well and I managed to pull it into my Ultimate. My turn. I continue to poke as much as I can and play as much as I can. Okay, so here now Draven and Bane are in another duel. I meant to it, but I, unfortunately I missed my hook on Bane. Had I hooked her, I probably could have saved my Draven. So here Draven was initially at the bottom lane and we are trying to catch them on to stop them from burning. So I managed to hook Pantheon first, I popped down my ult so that Draven can do, do some acid. I managed to hook Lee Sin once again. I play once more on Draw and here is where I unfortunately miss my final hook on Bane, but they managed to kill her off anyway. So. Yeah. So like I said, this cooldown reduction thing is damn awesome. And it's a it's particularly effective on trash because of his, the fact that trash is hooked out of all his four skills. So here another team fight breaks out. And for some damn reason, Sony Vegas decides to black out my preview. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just enjoy this without my commentary for a while. Alright, so th mostly the team fight has already sort of like concluded. I know initially you saw that <laughs> I was competing to ho like ho see who can hold Vayne, you know. Vayne actually got off, got uh, held by Skarner first and I decided, hey no, I want I want a piece of her. And this guy man, wait, not yet. Okay, so this is actually the final team fight and we are trying to just end this already. So I see that Zed is still like sort of dwelling around. Hovering around. I managed to hook him and I do my famous Ooh, fly in and then I'm like, hey, why are you running away? Cooldown reduction for the win. <laughs> Once again I kill him off. That was actually the last kill of this entire match. And that concludes it. We have a 30 versus 15 score. And that's it guys. Ciao.